leading non-governmental organization is in the area of reproductive health is rocked in boardroom wars that have sparked flight amongst top donors that have been bankrolling multi-million programs targeting women and youth in marginalized communities. The wars started with an audit report that shows at least two top officials at the organization as masterminds of a corruption web in which they've been receiving kickbacks for contracts and sometimes irregular payments of funds to themselves without approval of the NGO's board. Sam Gituku reports of what could be blatant misuse of donor funds for personal benefit. The Family Health Options Kenya, once known as the Family Planning Association of Kenya, is an NGO that has existed for more than 60 years and has been working in the field of reproductive health, running 16 clinics across the country. Sources say the organization is worth an estimated 1 billion shillings, with a membership of 5,000 and staff size of 150. But a controversial audit report is threatening the six-decade-long stability of the organization. An audit conducted by ANK Forensics and Investigations Firm reveals a series of financial misappropriations that two senior officials received tokens of appreciation for tenders they signed off, including 10% kickbacks from tenders awarded. That between January 2017 and April 2020, several commodities, including contraceptives, were procured and paid for at 7.5 million shillings. The goods were never delivered. In one contract in March 2019, one million shillings was paid out by FHOK to a company that had not supplied commodities, including contraceptives. While a refund was made, 100,000 shillings was allegedly retained as bank charges. In another transaction, imaging equipment was on paper procured at 5.3 million shillings and paid for. The equipment, however, was never physically delivered, while a senior officer at FHOK is alleged to be a director at the receiving company. The auditor is finding it conflict of interest. Another anomaly noted during the audit is procurement from suppliers that had not been pre-qualified as per procedure. A company that was paid 10 million shillings between January 2016 and December 2019 found to have never been pre-qualified to tender. Between May and October 2019, a senior official at the NGO is said to have received 7.5 million shillings as advance payment without the board's approval. That by the time of conclusion of the audit, the senior official had paid back 1 million shillings, promised to pay back 3.5 million shillings from his gratuity or an expiry of term of service. But it wasn't clear how the balance of 3 million shillings would be cleared. In other irregularities, project funds of up to 8.5 million shillings were found to have been moved without the board's approval and never returned. That during a first ladies' event in Homer Bay County, a falsified list of 13 participants was given as proof of expenditure, yet 10 of the names were irregular. A senior official is said to have pocketed 290,000 shillings with no sufficient explanation. The boardroom wars have caused stalemate in the status of the audit report. Some of the board members that were pushing for adoption of the report have since been replaced in an election held on Friday last week. The chief executive officer who had been suspended has since resumed office with the acting CEO who had been picked in his absence now chased out. FHOK CEO Edward Marienga, who spoke to Citizen TV, dismissed the audit report as one that wasn't sanctioned by the board, including suspension of two senior members of management. Marienga saying that the embattled officers were never accorded opportunity to defend themselves. The Ministry of Health is represented in the FHOK board with the NGO a crucial partner of the ministry in running several reproductive health projects. The International Planned Parenthood Federation has since suspended its funding, estimated at between 60 to 70 million shillings annually, after much of its funds were cited to have been misappropriated by senior management. The standoff likely to push out donors that account for up to 36% of FHOK financing. Sam Gitukosuzen TV, Nairobi.